Hi, welcome back. The game before us today is the Battle of Winsby by Rob Markham. It's a Battle of the English Civil War, and it was published in the Game Fix magazine, issue 5, March of 1995, issued by the Games, let's see, Game Publications Group, Incorporated. The editor of the magazine is John Compton, and... Chief Development is Keith Schlesinger, Art Director is John Compton, Business Manager Gary Smith, and the Operations Manager Paul G. Cooper. This magazine is produced uh, here in the United States, or it was produced. Um, it's out of print now, of course. I picked up a copy at Noble Knight Games for $7, unpunched, practically new, so you can still find copies of it out there. If you search hard enough. Uh, some of the uh, content is we have an editorial by John Compton. Then we have The Fix You're In, which is another uh, article by John. We have Battle Briefs, and then we have the article The Battle of Winsby. We have the chronology of the Civil English Civil War, and then the game itself, Winsby. And then some other uh, news and rules and stuff like that for some of their games. And then the arc, Armchair uh, Gamer by David Wood. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, once I read through the magazine, I'm, I'm sure I'll find out. The uh, magazine's black and white with just a little bit of color. Some of the maps and stuff are color. Uh, okay, well, it has more color than I thought it did. I guess I just pretty much just went right straight for the uh, game. There's Joseph Miranda. Woohoo! I can show you, show him to you. There he is, back as he was in 1995. And then we have, like I say, the optional rules. The game itself is bound in the middle of the magazine. I'll get a little bit, get into that a little bit more. And basically, just some more uh, articles and stuff. Back, the magazine contains a advertisement for their game Rebel Yell. And that's about it. It's about 30 pages long, about 28 pages of content. Um, as far as the game being stapled into the middle of the magazine, that's quite common at that time and even today to some extent. Um, the bad thing is some of the inside has um, ad copy and stuff like that inside the game, uh, the game rules themselves. Um, I find that to be very distracting. That's, you know, just my personal opinion. Um, and especially when it's just for an article on Richard Berg's uh, printed blog back then, basically. Um, blog, uh, Berg's review of games or whatever. Um, yeah, I find that to be just a total waste of uh, print space, but hey, that's just me. Um, and there are, it has the uh, killer aspect for me of having your turn record tracks and anything that you're going to set markers on on the back side of a map, uh, charts and tables, that kind of thing. Um, that to me is just the death knell of a game. Why did I pick this up? Well, I like the system. I like the, I like Mark, uh, Mark, Rob Markham's um, game system. His Royalists and Roundheads, Crossbows and Cannon game systems. I There's another uh, YouTuber out there. I don't know his name. I think his... He goes by his initials or some initials. I think it's like MJK or MJL. I'm not quite sure. Um, just search for Royalists and Roundheads and you should come up with uh, a link to his uh, channel. He does a very good in-depth discussion of the game, game systems, that type of thing. Not necessarily this game, but Royalists and Roundheads, that kind of thing, some of the other games in the series. Um, I wish I knew his name, but like I say, it's like MJK. I don't know what it is. You'll find it. Um, there are several out, several other channels out there, but his, uh, his is the one that goes into some depth on this game system itself. So anyway, that's what we have here at the moment. Uh, what are we looking at? Where's where's my rules at? 
The rolls come, like I say, bound into the magazine itself. They're written in a very stilted case format. Um, some of them appear to even be quite uh, not quite finished, kind of half baked and stuff. They get the basic idea across, but they don't always go into all the little nuances of the rule. Um, there's a lot of assumption that you're you know something about war games and you've been war gaming a while and that kind of thing. Not a game for beginners. Um, the rules are only about, oh, I don't know, four pages maybe. I'm going to go with about four pages. Not very much. They're in black and white and color. And they describe all your major systems and subsystems, that type of thing. Oops, sorry, sorry. Ooh. Uh, your facing examples, zones of control examples, that type of thing. And on the back of the map on one side, I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, let's see, we have command, control rules, combat phase, that type of thing. There's orders, changing of orders. And then we have like these little tables here, which are like, you know, your command extension example. I can see that being where it's at. But the range table, the fire combat table, that should all be on a separate chart along with the main melee results table and a terrain effects chart, in my humble opinion. And we have some examples of line of sight and different elevations. And in the back we have just some setup uh, set information. There's one scenario. Uh, then we have the victory, po uh, victory points table. <coughs> On the map is a terrain effects chart. It's fairly comprehensive. Gives you your terrain, uh, level two terrain, level one with a road, a town, a river, which is purple. Um, these little purple squiggly lines over here. That's a river. Uh, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more blue in there, but you know, I'm not a, I'm not the art director, so they didn't ask me. <laughs> so anyway, and we have woods. Woods are the lighter. Um, shade of gray green here and then we have marsh which is a darker shade of gray green and this of course is one of the levels of the hill the second level Winsby itself lies over here I basically just cut out out of the counter sprue counter sheet the name of the game and just kind of just set it there for visual impact there is nothing printed on there as far as telling you that it is the town of Winsby. There is a reference in the rules to that, to such, but, you know, hey, well, it would have hurt to um, put in a little bit more graphic work there. From a magazine, which at, at time went with a bunch of articles that, you know, this is how a game should be, this is how a game should look, this is how a game should be laid out and everything. And yet some of their games were the most atrocious uh graphically and rules wise as possible um, the Wargamer did that too I'm not sure what the issue was oh Kyber Rifles Kyber Rifles on the Wargamer I don't know which magazine it was had some of the most atrocious artwork and yet the article right uh, right behind the game was on how to the state of the graphics and the state of the art of graphics in game design so, um, yeah, just makes for a little bit of humorous, uh, just makes for a little humorous antidote. Antidote. Whatever the word is, I can't even speak, so what, a, what do I know? Here we have the command tracks and the turn record track. Where you put your units, they're going to be entering the board. Nobody's on, nobody starts the board. No units start on the board. They all start on the turn entry track. Uh, let's see. And here you have your command tracks where you will be able to change your orders and issue orders and mark and record those. Each order will have a specific impact on the game in one way or another. And that's pretty much what you get. 
for your seven bucks if you're lucky. I've seen it go higher, seen it go lower. Just depends. Anyway, I'm going to go through a playthrough, or we're going to go through an entire. We are going to go on into the game itself in the next video.